Today we'll be having a look at the Roadmaster battery charge line kit for motorhomes, part number RM-156-75. Okay, with our charge line all hooked up now, this will supply our vehicle that's being towed behind our motorhome with 12 volts of power so the battery in it won't run down while it's being flat towed. Additionally, if we're towing just a standard trailer, this will charge the breakaway battery on the trailer so if the trailer would become unhooked, the breakaway battery will have sufficient amount of power to apply the brakes to slow the trailer and stop it safely. This breaker will keep us from having to worry about having to replace fuses on our charge line kit. If for some reason they become a short and the system would become overloaded, the breaker would flip open and would automatically reset once the problem has been corrected or the breaker has cooled off. It's a quick and simple installation, just one wire to hook up, run from the back of your seven-way connector or your six-way, depending on the type of connector you're using, attach it to your breaker, then have one lead going to the positive terminal on your battery. Now that we've gone over some of the features, we'll show you how to get it installed. We're going to use this red wire right here for the charge wire. So we'll strip off some of the insulation. Then we did our charge line, which is the red wire. That went into the terminal marked AX for auxiliary. And we'll slide this down and we'll clip it into place until it snaps. Now we'll tighten the wire, clamp up all the way, and we'll use a 10 millimeter socket and a Phillips screwdriver here in order to snug this down the rest of the way. Okay, with those snug down, our seven way is now securely mounted. All right, so we went ahead and routed our charge line to our vehicle's house battery. It's charged by the alternator, so it'll be good there. We just secured our wire up to existing wiring harnesses, making sure we kept it out of the way of any moving parts or sources of heat. If you follow a factory wiring harness, more than likely you'll be okay. So there's a wiring harness inside our frame rail. We just followed along that, securing it up with zip ties along the way. The wiring goes through this grommet into the compartment where our battery is stored. Now in our battery compartment here on our RV, on our case it's behind the driver's side door, we're going to mount our circuit breaker near our battery. Right here next to the right of our factory circuit breakers will be a great spot. We'll just use the provided self-tapping screw and secure it in place. Once we have one in, We'll do one on the other side too. Now the wire, we'll need to connect to the auxiliary port on our breaker. That's the silver one. It's also the top one in our case. So we'll measure off how much we're gonna need and cut off the excess. We'll strip off some of the insulation here. And we'll crimp on one of our small ring terminals. Then we'll remove the nut and we'll place it on, reinstall the nut. Now on one of the ends of the wire we just cut off, we'll strip off some more insulation and attach the other small ring terminal to it, and crimp it down, and we'll attach it to the gold terminal on the bottom that's marked BAT for battery. And we'll measure off how much we're going to need to attach the positive post on our battery. Cut off the excess. Strip it back some insulation. Make sure our large ring terminal will fit over there, which it will. Stick over the wire. And we'll crimp that on down. Before we connect that, we're gonna tighten down those two 
nuts with a 10 millimeter socket. All right, now we'll take off the wing nut on our positive battery terminal here. Place on our ring terminal over the stud. We'll reinstall the wing nut. And we'll snug it on down with a pair of pliers. Okay, with that secure, our install is now complete. We'll show you how to test it. We're going to use a trailer simulator here. If you would like to purchase one of these, you can find one on our website or you can just hook up to your trailer. Open our door up here. We'll insert our seven way plug. Close the door down and over. First thing we want us to check is make sure we have our charge line working on this. We'll flip our gauge down here to battery charge. And as you can see, we're getting about 12 volts. That means that's working. And that completes our look at the Roadmaster battery charge line kit for motorhomes, part number RM-156-7. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.